Hello, I am Kirby Fred and today I will teach you how to make a starter ship in waste of space. To teach you, I have found a starter base of some kind because it's way quicker to use the work of others since this will get very tedious. Okay, first, spawn in several pieces of iron. Next, use one of those pieces of iron to hold up the other as seen in the video and make sure everything is locked so it doesn't despawn. Now, you need quite a few wires, pipes, and some power cells to make the ion rocket which will allow your ship to move. You need to use the pipes to make 10 engines, then, use the wires to make power cells and then craft the ion rocket, lock it immediately. I forgot to mention this before, but you need to make 3 more ion rockets to create a hyperdrive, the most important part for space travel. You will also need 100 iron and 50 wires. Next, make a vehicle seat and place it facing where your ship is facing and put the ion rocket behind it with a button attached. This part is the most annoying of them all, in order to use a hyperdrive, you need a star map, but a star map needs two radars which in turn needs a touch screen each one so it is very tedious to make a star map. Now. Make an air supply since you can't breath in space dummy, also make a telescope so you can make sure the next planet you go to won't instantly kill you. This next part is hard to explain but I'll try. So basically, you need a polysilicon, trigger wire, button, and a switch. Put the switch on the ion rocket then connect the switch to your power source with a regular wire, after that place a button behind the vehicle seat and put the polysilicon on the button. Then use the configure tool to change the polysilicon to topsy-turvy and the button's key input into anything you want, once you do that connect the polysilicon to the switch using a trigger wire and configure the ion rocket to 100. And that is pretty much it, design your ship however you want and have fun finding and building a base in the vastness of space.